Well, it still runs. It's uh, running off the power supply right now at 8.7 volts, 330 milliamps. Uh, pulse duration set at uh, 5%. bottom signal is the hall sensor signal the top one is uh, at the drain of the power MOSFET and you can see that it's lighting some LEDs now the position of the, the coil is far forward and that has a big effect on the amount of current that it draws. I'm going to shut down. I'm going to adjust the position. Um, oh, by the way, this is the uh, quarter-inch coil, pancake coil. There's actually two of them stacked inside that case. And they're running series. And the RPM is... 1000 RPM right now. So I'm going to shut down. I'm going to move that coil and see how uh, it performs with the coil directly underneath the magnet. Okay, I have the coil moved directly underneath the magnet. Now I didn't move the magnet uh, over the center of the coil because that would take a little bit of doing and I didn't feel like messing with that. It will even run on less current with it in that position. But I just wanted to see that 160 milliamps of that um, 300 milliamps belong to the controller so that gobbles up that much so we are we're roughly 170 milliamps I can't remember the exact uh, amount of current I think it was like 330 milliamps but um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up Okay, I'm at five or four percent duration right now. I was at five percent. I couldn't get any lower uh, with the magnet or the coil in the position that it was in, and it's running a little bit better um, in terms of current draw. I thought it was going to be better than that, but you see we have uh, pulsing at a real slow rate so it's varying between like uh, 250 milliamps and uh, 300 milliamps something like that um, right now we're running at 4000 rpm and okay I forget where I was before I was rudely interrupted by a battery change. This thing gobbles batteries when I'm making videos and I really should get some rechargeables. Um, I think I was saying it's at 4,000 RPM. I'm going to go ahead and try and change the uh, duration, lower it a little bit and see if it'll take that. That did now. Uh, now we're running at about uh, oh, 600 RPM. Still lighting the LEDs. A little bit of a flicker. I'm going to see if uh, adjusting the hall sensor might. 
up. Kind of hard with the camera. I'll increase the duration up to 4% see so if I can get it kick started again. There we go. Trying to go the wrong direction with the hall sensor in this position. It wants to run in that direction, front to back. So let's see. We'll try lowering it down, down to 4% again. It's actually running a little bit faster with the hall sensor at four uh, percent. Uh, let's see, yeah, about a thousand RPM right now. So that hall sensor makes all the difference. Its position. Um, I'll go ahead and lower the duration. I'm at 4%. Oh. I totally lost my controller. I think. Yeah, I got a loose wire in there. I got there. <laughs> Get to him. Bad demo. Apologize about that. I need to get on that. Figure out that loose wire. Okay, try it again. Down to four percent. Three percent. Okay, I'm in my own light, I guess. Three uh, percent. And we're at about 720 RPM. I can get it in the frame. I wish this thing would focus on the hertz. It's about 11 hertz. So right now it's uh, about uh, oh, 12 hertz, about 720 RPM. Uh, and 250 million. And 130 of that is uh, the controller. Now if I eliminated that controller, this thing would do a lot better, but of course we'd be at a 50% uh, duty cycle. Whereas now I can turn it down to 3%. Um, okay, let's try one more time. 2%. No. I, I've had uh, other coils running at 2%. Well, that's it. The bottom line is, is this coil survived, even though it bubbled up and hit the rotor when I was cranking on yesterday. Hit about 66,000 RPM, but it, it didn't like it. I guess I need to find some uh, better epoxy, um, higher temperature. So. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.